While De'Aaron Fox is rocking the lowest steal percentage of his career this season, the Sacramento Kings guard may have pulled off a major heist in the cryptocurrency space. Less than two months after launching his NFT program entitled Swipe of the Fox, Fox abruptly shut the whole operation down and seemingly ran off with roughly $1.5 million of his fans' money in what many are characterizing as a rug pull, or for those who don't speak crypto, fraud. Although Fox has vowed to update the project at the end of the NBA season and ultimately add value for his NFT holders, the writing on the wall isn't promising. Meanwhile, Fox has given no indication that he intends to make the bulk of his investors whole and said he'll only reimburse a small subsection of them with either buybacks or signed jerseys. And given that the crypto economy is a largely unregulated space, Fox may not be legally compelled to give all that money back. There's a ton to break down here, but we've got you covered, even if you're new to the crypto NFT game. So sit back, relax, and take this in. Before we dive in, a quick explainer on NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, which are essentially digital collector's items, like artwork or music, that can be bought and sold like other kinds of assets, even though they have no intrinsic value. Basically, they're speculative assets that can generate a lot of cash for creators, and who knows how much potential value for holders. They're kind of a big deal, too. Last year, sales of NFTs reached roughly $25 billion, according to market tracker DappRadar. And as the popularity of NFTs has exploded, pro sports leagues and professional athletes themselves have been keen to get in on the action. In recent months, superstars like Tom Brady and Wayne Gretzky have released their own NFTs, again, digital collectibles, that they're not only selling directly to consumers, effectively eliminating any middleman fees, but that are also easy to authenticate and programmable to kick back royalties to the creator in the event of a secondary sale. And Fox, who, by the way, signed an $163 million max extension with the Kings back in 2020, also hopped on the train. Only his NFT project promised buyers a more immersive experience than simply getting a piece of digital artwork. To entice prospective NFT buyers, Fox also offered the chance to win one-on-one -on -one experiences with him personally, all-star game tickets, a scholarship to the University of Kentucky, his alma mater, and access to a virtual basketball court in the metaverse. In other words, on top of receiving a piece of digital artwork, his NFT holders would also become part of a virtual community in which Fox himself was an active participant and would also have the opportunity to win other cool stuff. It was a compelling sales pitch. Within six weeks of launching, Fox had sold or minted more than 6,000 NFTs, which netted him about 470 Ethereum, a prominent cryptocurrency worth roughly $1.5 million at the time of the NFT's minting. And as Fox filled his digital wallet with Ethereum, his investors waited anxiously for the virtual Swipe Island and the perks he had promised to become a reality, which would in turn raise the value of their NFTs. But that never happened. Instead, Fox recently shuttered the project without any warning, citing the demands of the NBA season and his obligation to the Kings, who deserve, quote, all of his attention. The project's Discord and social media accounts were promptly deactivated or turned private, and the project's hosting site went dark, though it has since been reactivated. Almost immediately thereafter, the floor price of his Swipe of the Fox NFT plummeted to 0 .003 Ethereum, or about $8.50. Now, all those fans who invested based on Fox's promises of access to a virtual community and exciting real life opportunities are left with glorified JPEGs of a cartoon Fox. And for now at least, the overwhelming majority of those NFT holders appear to be stuck holding the bag. While Fox has vowed to revisit the project after the season, some buyers clearly take little solace in that promise. You rugged us, you scammed us, you made promises to charity and to us, didn't fulfill any of them. You lost a lot of fans today. Now you must be thinking, isn't this illegal? Well, no. While the rug pull is unquestionably unethical, this kind of thing isn't illegal and is actually rather common in the unregulated world of cryptocurrency and NFTs. Of course, it is possible that Fox returns the money or delivers on his promise to update the project this offseason and ultimately turns his NFT back into a valuable commodity. For the time being, however, it looks like the burgeoning king star may have pulled the fast one on his fans, all for a haul worth less than 1% of the value of his current contract, and it's unlikely he emerges from this saga without at least some damage to his reputation. 